Thanks everybody for joining this call. Um, I'm really happy about presenting this topic because everything is evolving and changing and you need to take benefits of those changes and if you understand those changes better you kind of have an, an advantage an advantage that you can use to make some good money I promise you so I'm Jack Hotman 25 years old still August 23 I turned 53 so I have to update my slide I serve many local clients by myself and I have managed more than more far more than 2 million total so what is today's topic Google announced the biggest ad change past 16 years. Now that is a bold statement. It is coming from a Google employee itself. Google make a very big ad change. Do you know why it is so good that Google changed? Because all those local business they cannot keep up. They are not on this training. They just see the campaign is not working so well anymore. And you are on top. You had inside knowledge. So see the change as an opportunity. The change is expanded tax ads. Wow. It's kind of simple when you understand what the change is. So, Google interface to enter an ad looks like this now. You have the URL, you have one headline, you see this left side. You have the second headline, it's the right side. And you have a description now. You guys see how the ad structure works now? Headline 1, Headline 2, Description line. Enter yes or no if you understand this ad structure, how you, where you enter the text uh, to complete the ad. Okay. So I see a lot of yeses and one no. So let me explain it in more detail. The Headline 1 was like a like the previous ad. Previous ad had 25 characters, and now the headline one, this left section up to the dash, is for 30 characters. Okay, now they have expanded to a second part headline. They call it headline two. It's the same, can be the same line left part and a right part. They call it headline 1 and headline 2. And the headline 2 has new 30 characters. So this headline comes really a big headline. Used to be 25 characters and now we have 30 characters plus another 30 characters. You guys see this? 60 characters. Now, now you have the simple domain name and then you have the description which exists in the previous you had descri description line 1 and description line 2 from, uh, from uh, uh, about 70 characters total. Now you have 80 characters which you can almost complete a nice story, a sub, sub sentence. Do you guys see now the structure of the ad? It's a lot is other real estate. Things are simple if you know what the change is correct. If I had asked you before what are the expanded tags and you said uh and now you see just where everything falls in place. Okay.
Now, expanded tax ad. Bigger is better. Why is that? Because you ha you or Google offers more real estate. You get more space to present your offer. Wow. You 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 wondering? Are you not wondering why is Google doing this? Why is Google making this change? Evolving. Why is Google making this change? Mobile makes more money, more and space, attract more businesses to charge more. So, Google makes the most money with AdWords and gives more real estate on the first page to paid advertiser, correct? That's simple. So, Google is evolving to reward paid advertiser on the first page. Do you guys remember this? But I, I did this half a year ago. It used to be that you had three ads on the top and seven ads on the bottom. They changed this to put them on the bottom. You remember that, that change? So they, they created the space and now they have created the space they can make those ads on the top bigger. Because you have headline number two is extra, description line is extra. They give to the top ads, they give more space. Okay? So, kind of everything is around this. They want to please AdWords clients. They get more and more and more space because those clicks, Google earns on it, okay? So they do everything for money, but in a way that the customers still appreciate it, just accept it. Now you probably wonder, Jack, now I know everything about the ad structure. I, Jack, I understand this. But how do you avoid a winning ad? Huh? So you have the fields, it's kind of simple, this is simple. But how to avoid a high performing ad? It's kind of, you have your dictionary and you know the words, but how can you put together a sentence? Huh? How can you make this, how, how can you make this work and to make some real good money or with it? You guys want to hear some tips? Tips where you will never hear so somewhere else because they know that they know they had they know the dictionary but they never have used it by themselves. Do you know what you want to do if somebody else say I have a nice AdWords training for you? Let them take a picture and screenshot of their AdWords account. It's easy to say okay this is how to use it but you don't know what to do with it, okay? Okay, tip number one. Mirror the visitor's end goal. Okay, so you always think, and this help, once I got this and once you get this, that was it so easy. Close your eyes and stand 
with your feet in the search bar. And you look around and you see what is the what attracts me? Where I want I to get linked with? Assume you enter the keyword help get rid of acne. So you could have a headline something like dealing with acne. That is not a bad ad, correct? Dealing with acne. When help get rid with acne and you answer dealing with acne. It's not a bad, huh? It's not a bad headline. This is what an average AdWords manager would use. But not you. You would say, kill Agne once and for all. You guys see the difference? Dealing with Agne or kill Agne once and for all. What if if I want to get rid of Agne? Do I want to have repeat what I just entered? Or I feel more attractive, kill Agne once and for all. This winner has a significant better click to rate. Can be the same product, the same service, but they will click on kill Agne once and for all. So that was the end goal of the search. You guys see this? You guys feel the difference? The w Here another example. Sell your car. So most Atlas manager would say sell your car today. That's not a bad ad headline, correct? Sell your car, sell your car today. But repeating what I just enter is boring, correct? A much better headline is sell your car today. We will buy your we will buy your car today. That is actually what my end goal is, okay? I want somebody to buy my car. And if I say we will buy your car today, I feel that is my solution. I want to learn more about you. You guys get it? Is it now so hard? No. You just have to remember if if you do the headline, tell about the solution, the end goal. Okay? What do I want to achieve? What, what is my service? What does my service solve the issue you have? Keep that in mind. Okay, the next tip is get super specific. So, App number one, best marketing strategies, the, the first ever public library of tested marketing strategies online. You see how many ads you see about telling about themselves, best marketing strategies, the, the first ever public library tested marketing strategies online. Or, best marketing strategies, 10 Pattern and strategy guides, 1500 proven tests, free access. You see that this is much more specific what they offer and they add some numbers to it. Specific, specific information get a much higher click-through rate. 
So make your ad specific in case you can. Add some numbers to it. Does that make sense? This kind of annoying things, but if you apply it, the click to rate of those ads gets significantly higher. So, make things personal. Online store solution, then domain.com. Or, online store made simple. Start your free trial now. You see that word, your, makes the whole difference? I'm now engaged with you. Okay? I make it I make this ad for you. It's not a general ad. No, it is your ad. Your free trial. Simple. I make it simple for you. You guys see this? See how simple things can be? You just have to know those tips. Make your ads hyper-local. Use a local tracking number, not an 800 Google AdWords tracking number. Okay? Just, that's, just remember, use, use a local number, not an 800 number for local marketing. Okay? So the last tip is test, test, test. In Google AdWords you can e e simple create multiple ads and see which one converts the best. Always have at least two ads running. That is simple, correct? But do it. So Don't mess with a winner. Actually, William, what, what would, William, assume you have a click to rate of 10%. That's pretty high, correct? So my question is, should you split test? I have an ad from 10%, should you split test? Yes. Because Probably, if you were able to create a 10% ad, you probably are creative to make an even better ad. At least, at least, uh, you should try it. Okay? And there are other reasons why you want to create other ads, because there's something like ad tiredness and all kind of things. But, bottom line, even if you have a good performing ad, you continuously want to split test. Now, did you like this training? Enter yes or no. If if you feel that you understood what I just explained and Do you feel that you want to learn more about my AdWords training and go over 10 of those sessions what speaks about keywords, speaks about ads, speaks about campaigns, speak about negative keywords, very important, speak about uh, prospecting, website, and so much more. And I make everything, everything what I did is super, super simple. Because at the moment you understand things, it becomes simple. If I wouldn't have explained the things, you would say, wow, Jack, boo, what is this? 
but if things make sense things become easy so this weekend special I don't know if you can see my screen the local act was training you can try it out for only nine dollar and um, there's no reason why there's no reason why you couldn't uh, do it it is the easiest service you can offer to make a monthly income yes Pat just send a support ticket okay so who's already in this training enter yes if you're already in this training or enter in okay I see a lot of yeses so let me ask an other question who is not in let's say not no no not yet Richard Brian not Raymond not so what is your holding your back is there anything what is your holding your back to learn more about Atlas trading and to make a decent monthly income how to find customers competition that is part of sales dynamo jack at what's module is part of this deal how do we get clients for this service that is part sales dynamo jack is part of uh, this okay so the where is the module sales dynamo jack at what's module is part of this Sales Dynamo Jack is part of this Atlas training. Good deal. So the training also includes how to get clients, how to do a phone call. Does anybody from you guys want to do an, uh, a role play with me? I did today with Oliver today. Is Oliver on the call to the, now? He called me 3.30 and said, hey Jack, I want to get the AdWords training, but my problem is I cannot uh, get clients. I only had, if I only had one client, so I did a role play with him and he felt now very uh, confident that he can get cl sign up clients. You know what? what business want what business is about is about making money so you want to make sure the service you provide makes money for your client and the number one service you can do is uh, uh, is with adults Raymond is willing to do a role play with me so let's uh, Let's try it with Raymond. It's always much more fun. Let's see if, uh, Ray, if I get Raymond. Raymond unmuted. Hi Raymond, do you hear me? 
Yeah, I hear you. Do you hear me? Yes. Do uh, does everybody hear Raymond? Yes. So you are live in this training. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, you are in this call. Tell a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a 65 year old man who was disabled early in life, and um, I'm trying to make some extra money because Social Security is not enough anymore. Um, and I'm I'm going to be concentrating more on AdWords. Uh, I do have the AdWords uh, already, and uh, I need to start doing more with it because it does appear to be the best and easiest way of getting re a reoccurring income every month. Did you uh, follow any of the training? I, I just started, but it was a while ago, and I got sick again, so I didn't get you know, you know I'm going to go over it again. Okay. Start from the beginning. But what I did uh, look at. It seemed to be very, uh, very good, but you know, tonight during this training here, um, it made me remember some of the things that I had learned from there. So it was good. It's a good refresher. I always enjoy your training. Thank you. So, uh, have you have you talked about your method or your way how to get clients? Um, I don't like cold calling. To be honest with you, I'd rather do email if if possible at all, or Facebook messaging or something like that, mm -hmm. or ads. I, but I really don't like call you know making phone calls. So I would rather do that, you know, some other way other than me picking up a phone and calling somebody. Yeah. Would you be okay if they call you once they get an email? Oh sure. Yeah. That's a different story. <laughs> That's a warm call. Yeah. And, you know, it's an incoming call. So let us. I just don't need the person that gets out there and you know gets the phone slammed down or swore at <laughs> mm -hmm. something like that. So let us assume you use Lead Find and Jack, and uh, they got interested in your service, and they they call you, okay? And mm -hmm. um, um, I'm the marketer and you are the business owner, so I can kind of play the role you should play, okay? Okay. And so you got an email from me and in that email you, you show that you are willing to do the AdWords management for that company. It uh, had a link to your website and they kind of say, you know, call for, call to, to get more details, okay? So now you're calling me and I'm the AdWords uh, manager and get a warm call from you. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, so just call me. Yep. Ring, ring. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello. This is Ray Knapp. How are you today? Good. I got your email. And I see you're interested in getting more customers into your business. Is that correct? That's correct. Glad you saw my email. How can I help you? Well, I think AdWords is the best way to go um, because Google, whenever anybody does a search, they see the ads at the top and those are the ones that they're more likely to click on and therefore you get more business. If you're not on page one, then Forget it. You won't get any clicks at all from uh, when people do searches on the web. You got it. Okay, I got it. Huh? <laughs> and my uh, business is to manage the keywords for you, and you know, set up a budget and go from there, and we'll do the tracking and everything, and have a monthly report for you. Okay. So, when would you like to start? So, how much does that cost for me? Well, we have to look at your budget, see what your average customer brings in, and uh, go from there. Depending on your business, your volume, and you know dollars, we want to make sure you have a good ROI. So, um, probably the average thing would be to start with maybe a budget of two hundred dollars a month for the advertising plus my cost, which would be another $200 for managing it. My cost would be remaining the same, in other words, what you pay for me, 
but your cost for the ads could vary up to, up to 200 and if we need to go more than you know we'll go over that later mm -hmm. and um, like I said we'll provide proof that you're getting you know a return either through phone calls or ad clicks and things like that okay because Google does allow us to get that information mm -hmm. and uh, we have other customers that have done this and have been very pleased with us and if you look on our website you can see some of the uh, testimonials that are on there and if I do a good job for you would you be willing to provide me a testimonial yeah we, we can see about it okay let's get started then when would you like to start yeah you know let me think about it okay if you, if I can prove to you today that I can get you more clients or customers and I give you a beta rate because I'm just starting, um, would you be willing to take action? Well, so you do it for free now? No. What I would do is for the first week or so, I would do a small campaign for you, let you see what it's doing. You'll pay me the $200, uh, but I'll run just a couple small ads for you to see how it works. Mm -hmm. And then if you're pleased with what it does, then we'll go from there and then increase your budget for your advertising. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go on a month-to-month -month basis. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work out, which I know it will, then you could always leave. Okay. But I'm sure that once we get started with this, you'll see an increase in your customers and sales, and I will be able to prove it. And I'm sure that from there we can have a long-term uh, relationship. Okay. All right. I can send you um, a link here, and then you can fill out this form. Or you can just give me your credit card now and I can, you know, process it. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, you send me a link and I will follow up with you, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Okay. So I think we were a little bit confused in the beginning, who was the client and who was the prospect. So I adjusted a little bit to you. Oh good. But, I'm sorry. I thought I was supposed to be the one that was doing the selling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of you are, but in the real life, but I wanted to play that role a little bit. So oh, but it's okay. actually actually very good that you did it. So I could okay. see I could so let me ask first the the, the webinar members what do you talk, what do you think about this? And then we go from there. What do you guys think about this how Raymond did it as marketer. It was okay. I think he did a pretty good job. Thank you. If you want, we can switch it around. It's up to you. Six and a half of ten. Good job. Off, cut off. Okay. Price too low. Good job. He did really well. Pretty good. So everybody thinks you did good. Okay. So, okay. Very good. Um, I hope it works out well in real life. I think you can do better. <laughs> I, I know. I think you can do better, and I, I, I will try to help you what you can do better. Okay. So, okay. so in general talk is you speak too much and okay. I kind of was not 100% engaged because you didn't know which service I provided and all kind of things, okay? Okay, you, you yeah, didn't, yeah. You, you didn't figure out how you could uh, help him the best. Right, right. And you, you <laughs> kind of force him to use a certain budget while maybe as client two hundred dollars nothing and I will I want maybe spend thousand dollar you know right so we would adjust that according to the type of business and you're right I should have found out exactly what business they were in and what the average um, dollar value is per customer yes that is definitely a, yes uh, that is the point Yes, that yeah. is really the point you didn't do. So yeah. if I do that, I, I, then I, I, I think you got the elements. Now, now let me let, let me play uh, the marketer, 
and you okay. are a client, okay? So now you okay. have a business, okay? You have a business, I am the marketer, you got an email from me, and you got interested, and you call me as the marketer. You got it? Yep. Okay, now, uh, you call me, okay? Yep, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello, this is Jack, how can I help you? Yes, this is Ray uh, Knapp. I sent you, uh, you sent me an email, and I'm calling back to uh, see what you have to offer. Yes, thanks for uh, responding to my email. I'm really pleased with, with your time. What kind of business do you have? I have a restaurant. Really? That sounds really interesting. So, how many customers do you kind of have at the moment? Well, it varies depending on the day. Obviously, weekends are much better. Uh, we get more customers in. Um, we are not a family restaurant, but we're not a high-end restaurant either. We're kind of in between. Our average cost per meal per person is around $30. Okay. And could you use handle more customers? Oh, definitely. I would definitely like more customers. Now, I feel confident that I can help you. I have similar clients like you, which I have got really good results. Uh, I put them on the first page of Google in the Google AdWords program. Um, are you interested to get more clients? Yes, I am. Um, but I'd like to see how much it's going to cost, and can you prove uh, that your services that I'm paying for are working? Yeah, so let's put some numbers together. How much do you earn at average from a customer? $30 per customer. And how many customers can you handle more each day? Mm, probably about uh, 50 to 100, 50 to 100. Okay, so let's put 50 customers you can handle more and you earn $30 um, per customer. Let's say if I can bring you 50 customers more and each customer cost you only $15, so you still earn $15. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. yeah. So that, like would, that would be a little bit lower. That would, be, that would be a maximum budget. So let's say that there's a maximum budget of 50 times 15 is 750 dollar, correct? Yep. So mm -hmm. let's set up an AdWords campaign and let's do conservative a little bit in the beginning to see how things works out uh, and that we make sure you have a good ROI okay. and um, once we uh, prove the system we, we try to get your 50 customers per day, correct? Yes. So, when would you like me to start? Um, I'd like to start as soon as we can. Okay. I'm ready right now. Okay, good. As long as you can provide proof that I'm getting my customers for what I'm paying for. Sure. That is that is the base. So, do, so do you feel the difference a little bit? I, I We speak now more of a business level, huh? Yes, yes. Not, not, about mm -hmm. the, not about the technical. So let me ask the same audience, my members, do you, what do you think about this conversation? I think it was better because <laughs> you, know, you know what you're doing, so. No, you know, it's just a strategy, okay? So yeah. that can Plus be. it's not easy talking on a microphone because, you know, obviously it's, there's a difference between talking on a microphone and talking on a, on a telephone. Okay. I used to talk on a microphone when I worked in uh, radio broadcasting years ago, but you know it's been a long time since I've done that. You have a very nice voice, so I, you. You, should, you should not have any problem with getting the trust. Okay, okay. you just have to a okay. little bit, little bit listen. So you are a speaker, huh? But actually, yeah. actually, to make the conversion, you you have to let the client speak more. Yes, and yes. I have to I've got to learn to listen more yeah. is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. And provide them what they need, not what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know, you can you in the back, you have that you know what you want to offer, but you right. offer it at the moment the client is ready to hear it, huh? Right. 
right. Mm -hmm. You're not okay. going, let's say, I, I read a book, a, a marketing book, and it's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. So, some somebody wants to sell a laptop, okay? There are two mm -hmm. approaches to it. One approach is you take the laptop in your hand and you show it to the customer, correct? And explain all the features what the laptop does. Mm -hmm. The second approach is you listen to the client, you show nothing, and you record and make notes what they want. And okay. then you say, let me, the, let me get the perfect laptop for you. And you come back with the laptop. Okay, right. You customize your sale according to their needs. Kind of, yes. Yeah, you know, it's the same adult service, but you mm -hmm. don't push it too hard in the beginning. First, right. you try to understand what the customer need is, and you say, mm -hmm. that is the best solution. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's, a, it's kind of a little bit different approach, you see? Yeah. So it's yes, kind I of, understand. listen, listen, and once I got the mad from 50 clients and you make thirty dollars I knew 100% that I got your business because I just say you know I I can do I can make you money huh? mm -hmm. and you as business owners you are in business because you want to make money it That's is right. it is so simple it's right. so simple Bi running a business is so simple they just they just want to have a positive ROI okay mm -hmm. so exactly. Uh, well, thank you very much. I, I learned a lot. I always learn a lot from you, but I think I learned a, l a lot more by doing this role playing with you. Thank you. Uh, and you should not have. And so once you send out an email, and uh, so you want to be strong that they m call you. And if you are not always available, make sure you have a good voice message system or a tracking mm -hmm. number in call CD. You know, my mm -hmm. call tracking portal can have a uh, nice phone tracking voice mess system so you always don't miss any call. So, mm -hmm. um, that I'm going to have to get because I don't have that yet. Yeah, so you want to have a uh, call tracking number so you don't put your own phone number in it. And you can also All set right. up a voice mess system if you're not, you know, you are 65, you take naps, you know, you don't want to wake up too early. So you're yeah. kind of not always available, correct? That's but on the other right. hand, That's you don't want to miss that call. Mm -hmm. So that is why you want to have a nice voice mess system and with the call tracking portal, you can set up that up that way. Yeah, I think I'm eventually going to be moving my web hosting over to you too. So okay, that like can, a one-stop shop. That's, that's never that can never hurt, but <laughs> but that's not the reason <laughs> of my call. But uh, um, I know. I know, but I trust you, and, and 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 like I said, I've been listening to your training, and I think you are the best trainer of all of them that I've had, to be honest with you. And Everything I, is I, relative, I think, but uh, I, now the thing what I'm good with it, and it, you you probably have known that I have a bad memory, relative, you know, my wife has a much, much better memory than me, well, but me too. I can <laughs> systemize things, I can mm -hmm. make things so simple that I don't need to remember things. I just understand things. Like, right. I, I'm not a native English speaker, but my, mm -hmm. my AdWords ads converts very well. Mm -hmm. Because I know the system how to create a converting ad. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of you have to understand things instead of you following dictionary. Yes. So, so, yes. so that is that is kind of my strength. But so, yeah. Can I, may I ask you a personal question? What okay, you don't mind, but you don't get my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I'll take that too if you want to give it to me. <laughs> I was afraid for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> so, what's the personal question? Yeah, what country you you you're not a native um, English American speaker? You really? have the accent. What is the accent? What country? From the Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay, I thought it was German for some reason. I didn't, yeah, I don't it's, know. it's close. So mm -hmm. um, no. So um, well, you do very well, I think. Even you know with your accent and everything else, I think in a way it kind of helps. Uh, 
because you're more personal. You're not one of these uh, slick pros, you know what I'm trying to say, that try to sell you the sun and give you dirt, you know? Yeah, but so. like I said, business is about making money. I know, yes. I know may, not everybody likes to express that or say that, but it's, it's kind of the truth, you know? If sure you is. can make a business help making money, you got the business. It is so right. simple. It is really yeah. so simple. So you have yeah. to provide the service that they make money with. Right. And, and that's that what is, you're doing. And that is what I'm doing, yes. And that is, yep. that is why I like to love AdWords. Now, I like, there's another reason why I like AdWords. So there's one that kind of, let's say, three reasons why I like AdWords. Mm -hmm. One is Google makes about 80% of the income from AdWords. So mm -hmm. they're not giving that up. No way. No way. That will never go away. So the next mm -hmm. 10 years, if I able to do a good job in AdWords, I still have an, enough potential clients who like to, do, to have AdWords done. So I, I know some something, but there's a lot of need for it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they change, but it stays still, still is AdWords. The second thing it's is, more, it's the, more stable than SEO too. You know, SEO is terrible, to be honest with you. Yeah. I tried that. <laughs> yeah, a SEO is, uh, yeah, I, it's not my favorite. I have, SEO, I have to work too hard. And yeah, maybe yes. you're laughing, but I don't like to work hard. And uh, I, everything that takes a lot of time, I don't like. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to earn a good amount of money in an hour and not, you know, hoping something. So I'm going to try to go three hundred dollars an hour. I think that's what you said, wasn't it? Three hundred or two hundred? So, yeah, you you should easily easily make one hundred dollar per hour with Atlas Man easily. So okay. then the second thing is, um, if you have clients which are willing to do AdWords instead of clients who do SEO or Cracklist their mindset is different it's in the head they know an ad and, and they, they know that an ad costs money so right. they are engaged to have that spend managed they know mm -hmm. if they spend thousand dollars they want to have that managed well instead of when they they do crack list or SEO their mindset is is for free so they see you as the cost factor, right? And every and a dollar in, in is much kind of uh, yeah judged different because you manage you managed a free service. So they see you as the cost factor. I had much worse results with with Craigslist clients and with. Um, with SEO clients, and I said, no, that, that is not for me. I don't need those discussions, okay? Uh -huh. And I figured yeah. out that my AdWords clients are f far much easier clients. It's, you can, that's the third thing. With AdWords, if you know AdWords, you can deliver instant results within a uh -huh. week, uh -huh. I would say. So yeah. business owners want to judge you in the first month, not in three months. Right. So, so it's just an ideal service. Okay, it costs money, but it's actually mm -hmm. good that you cost money because the mindset of your client is that that you have to manage that money. They are willing to pay you to manage that spent good. Yeah. Well, as I said, I worked in radio broadcasting, and you know, obviously, people spent money on our commercials to be on the air. But there was no way for them to prove that they worked at all, none. But with AdWords, at least you can prove that you're getting a re ROI for them. Yeah. So same thing with newspaper ads. There's no way they can tell how many people, you know, sure, you know how many people get the newspaper, but you know how many people actually read your um, advertiser. Yeah. Uh, you should not have problems to sign up clients. You, I, I, the more I hear you, 
the more uh, I feel confident that you can have a, a, a nice nice set of clients soon if you really want to put effort in it. I uh, have to start doing that, Jeff. Thank I, I you know, very much. I know you're 65, but you know when you have 20 clients or 30 or 40, I think you enjoy your retirement much more than you know you take it easy now. Okay? Yes. So. I would like to take a vacation. I haven't had one in 35 years, a real vacation, so I deserve one. Yes. So that's another goal. Yes, that's a nice goal. Uh -huh. But I, I don't know why why your previous employer you didn't reach that goal so something went, went wrong I think so well I went out on disability at age 52 okay so I wasn't ready for retirement and I went on Social Security disability and I obviously didn't have enough time to put enough money into my retirement account okay yeah yeah okay yeah things you know and I was getting more benefits from my company. Uh, I, I worked for Eastern Kodak Company, and as you know, that company has gone downhill. So they took away all of our benefits. So, yeah. So cut, cut it, and see. You know, you live now. Tomorrow is your next day, and that is where you that you where what you can change, not the past anymore. That's right. That's right. That's why I'm doing this, and I don't want to work hard either, because that. At Kodak, I didn't work hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks right. for uh, joining uh, this uh, training and for your uh, interaction. I okay, thank you, Jack, again. I appreciate it. I, I learned really, a lot from you. Yeah, and uh, I enjoyed it, too. Thank you so much. Um, so thanks everybody for joining the call. I hope you guys um, you know what is the big takeaway for this? Uh, so the take the, the takeaway in my mind is you in your in your head, in your it, it is your mindset, correct? There is enough training available. Um, be to the point. If you serve in business, make sure they are making money. And uh, listen to them, and then offer your adverse service at the moment. They say, you know, I can use more clients. Kind of very simple. So, um, for nine dollar, if you are not in the training, you can uh, check it out now. Uh, if you need the link, let me know. Um, if you were in the first time of this training, let me know if you like my first experience. Uh, And um, this is a f f Larry was the first time, so hope I didn't disappoint you. Um, this is kind of the training, how things go, very informal, to the point, uh, not typical, maybe what you are used to. And. Uh, Ken said, thank you, Jack. I learn something every time I come to your lessons. Thanks, Ken. So thanks, everybody, and please take action.